For the motor rebuild, we have a, a kit available uh, through Checkpoint. It's K84 MRU. Uh, in that kit comes all the seals you need to rebuild your motor. We'll have the piston opti seal, the two spool U cup seals. This is the uh, alignment screw o ring, your two washers, uh, snap ring. This is your piston rod seal, U cup seal. A rod bushing, um, spacer sleeve o-ring, spacer o-ring, spacer face seal, uh, your two uh, cylinder o-rings and two housing o-rings. Also three U-cup seals half inch for the rod uh, of the piston and the rod bushing and it will also come with a new washer and a spiral o-ring for the spool. Top flange. Uh, you'll notice there's a U-cup in one side and a flat on the other side. For this application, an all half inch bride seal application, we're going to put cup side down. So you just press it in here. You have to work at the side just a little bit to get it in. Be careful not to cut the seal. Okay, next we'll put our spool spacer in there, followed by our spacer o ring and just a light amount of grease around it. The next few cup will come in here. Again, cup side down. Next with a little grease around our housing o-ring. Set that into place, press it into place. ring, put a little grease on there and it'll hold it in place as you insert it. And just a little lube in there to help it in. And press it in place. We have another throw ring that'll go into the groove here. Make sure it's seated all the way and apply just a little grease. There's an alignment hole here which will match the alignment hole on your housing. There's a pin that protrudes. Just want to put it straight onto it. Okay, into this pool first goes our rod bushing, our half inch U-cup seal, cup side down. A half inch washer and the spiral ring. Just separate it just a little bit, put it into the slot, and work your finger around. Until it's all the way in. Make sure it seats all the way into the edges. So spool o, o U cup seals. And snap it in place. And again, with the cup side facing this cup side inward. Next we'll place our D slides. This alignment slot here matches the slot on the bottom of the housing where your alignment screw will go. So just slip it in, eyeball it into place, and drop it in place. Our alignment screw gets an O-ring. And put it in the back side of the pump. Now it should go in just like it went in right there, hand tight without having to tighten it in. If you have to put a wrench on there to tighten it in, your spool is in the wrong place. It should also allow your spool to easily slide. Tighten this guy down at this point. Okay, 
Okay, so using a little grease, we're going to insert our final housing O-ring. Just like on the flange, there's an alignment pin here and one on the top cover. Insert your top four bolts. And the bottom four with the leg. At this point you want to leave it pretty loose, just hand tight. And we're going to turn our motor over face up. We're going to weld grease our O rings for a cylinder. This will help it to stay in place. It's for really no other reason. Insert it onto the flanges. Applying the piston o ring can be a little bit tricky, so you want to go from the top here and just slide it around. Take your Opti Seal, press it on the one side, and guide it around as far as you can. When you get to that point, fold one in and push it over. Make sure it's seated evenly all the way around. So we want to grease our rod, but make sure to stay away from the vent holes right here. You don't want to clog those holes. Insert it into the flange. Next we'll take our cylinder and put a thin layer of grease on the whole surface of the inside of the cylinder. This piston rides the whole way and it will extend the life of your pump to keep it oiled and lubricated. By the way, this grease I'm using is just a lightweight marine grade oil grease. To put the cylinder on, just put it on sort of crooked and pop it in place. Now for our bottom flange, first we'll put our rod bushing, a rod seal. You cup up this time. You want to keep whatever drive gas we have in the cylinder and then two washers. This all gets held in place with a snap ring. Again, make sure it seats all the way.